What's going on boys and girls? Welcome back to another Zenless Zone Zero video. First off, I want to give shout outs to IGN for the gameplay video as well as Pridewin for the guide itself. So we're going to talk about tips and tricks, things you need to know when the game launches within the next two days and seven hours. Boys and girls, it is coming. It's coming quick. So make sure you are doing everything you need to do to prepare web event, get yourself ready to know what you're going to do. And these tips and tricks are going to help you guys get ready in regards to what you should be doing as soon as you log in. So before the story begins, you're going to choose one of two different options. There's going to be casual version mode and a challenge mode. Now, the only reason why you ever want to do challenge mode literally is because you want to challenge yourself. There is nothing that makes a difference between casual and challenge besides difficulty. Drop rates, none of that jazz even matter. So keep that in mind, okay? Now, when you do casual mode, which we recommend you should be doing in the first place, you can then essentially choose between hard and challenge at any time. So you can switch those anytime you want to get yourself some more challenges while you're playing the game if you are bored, okay? Now, a couple things to remember. When you do finish whatever story mode, you're also gonna unlock hard mode, which will provide you additional rewards. So there is going to be more content to do anyways. So it doesn't really make sense to go to challenge Mode right away unless you're a veteran and again you are just looking for that challenge okay so the main should be focusing on straightforward the storyline completing side missions uh should be the, something you focus on only when you're forced to level up yes that is exp locked so you will need to actually level up to do some of the stages so it is important guys to focus on story first and foremost to get the best rewards push content as much as you possibly can and then get yourself the rewards from that and then side modes after so anything side story related don't really focus on it right away unless you're one of those people that are like a perfectionist and you need to finish it from the, the moment it drops everyone else should be focusing on story okay now make sure to do all the challenges for each of the stage challenges are basically your star so those are the things that are going to give you guys the most amount of rewards and which will give you guys enough currency to do your pulls etc right so you don't have to do it right away by the way you can revisit the stage when you're stronger if you are struggling with some of, some of the stages just remember though missing stars means you're going to get less tokens which means you're going to need progress to the story and less summoning tokens for all together and material for you to level up and, and advance further in the storyline so keep that in mind okay so again once you are stuck though in store and you've got all the stars make sure you are doing the side missions and you're going through do not forget to also visit the npc such as coffee shop the newspaper stand and your helper bang boo and your and your base they will give you guys additional rewards and tokens throughout the entire game plus you can fuse and dismantle character upgrade materials so in case you need to upgrade a new character just dismantle the materials you got from the upper tiers and you'll get material to level up your new character that you want to focus on all right now speaking of things you want to focus on don't forget about your battle pass dailies and your weekly missions. They provide a lot of materials that you'll get through the game, especially early stages of the game where you're going to be desperate need in order to get those. There's also a set of weekly rewards you can obtain in rally missions as well as the hollow zone license pass. So make sure you do enough runs to get all of those. And then also do your dailies, of course, because they provide you a lot of EXP and polychromes for your account. Now, speaking of leveling up and battery usage, so battery usage is your stamina system. Make sure you never cap that. That's a pretty straightforward thing. Everybody knows how that works if you played one gotcha you play them all St caps like capping your stamina and, and not going using it is probably one of the worst things you can do so never ever allow that there's 240 batteries in a maximum amount you can store over 24 hours so make sure within that 24 hours you are in fact using it now also think of your main team okay especially if you're going to play free to play this is going to matter to avoid wasting resources and drives that you need to farm so you ideally want to have the following you want a main dps a stunner and a supporter in your team your main dps will want to use the most field time during the enemy stagger phase to dish out the most amount of damage other than that you want to parry swap between the stunner and main dps most of the time in order to get that stun lock going which will increase the amount of damage your main dps will do you will eventually need a main dps for each element but it's not something you need to focus early on, okay? Due to how the team building works in ZZZ, you can often mix them with other same elements or same factions to make use of their passives, okay? So you don't have to worry about getting every element right away, but end game content wise, you are gonna wanna have one of each element DPS. It's very, very important. All right, so use. So what do you use your batteries for? This is gonna be early on, early on stuff. You'll need a solid bit for upgrading your characters, so you either be for EXP or the weapons, as well as essential materials or, or for talents. Do not use them on disk drive farming, since you only wanna start focusing on that when you reach account level 40, okay? So it's all gonna be about EXP 
XP, it's all going to be about leveling up your weapons. In early game, level your main DPS to max level that they can be. That's going to be your main focus. Everyone else can be a little bit lower, but your main DPS should be higher. You can probably stay about 10 level below on everybody else. And also do not invest in three star W engine weapons too much as they are replaced with four star and five star W engines very, very quickly. Okay. And do not forget to do your weekly boss runs in reckless challenge. All right. Now, Let's move over to the next thing, disk drives. Focus on getting your account level 40 as fast as possible as the good disk drive sets only start appearing then. So when you start farming disk drive sets, you're going to boost your account quite a bit. No need to force yourself to activate the four set bonuses early game. You can instead go for two set bonuses. That'll be a lot easier to provide you a good amount of damage increase. Don't upgrade every disk drive you get. The materials needed to do so are very limited and you can only, then they're used up very, very quickly. Do not level lower than A rank disk drives or they become obsolete really fast. And also save the lower tier tuners since they can be converted and used to obtaining disk drives in the music shop. To learn more about disk drives, you guys can check out Pride One's guide. There's an entire set, section for disk drive stats, the type of disk drives and the sets that are available. That's essentially your gear guys, okay? So combat. Let's talk a little bit about combat for tips and tricks. Stronger enemies have a stagger meter. They will become immobilized if you deplete this meter. If you dodge at the right time of an attack, you'll also activate extreme evasion. Anyone who plays any type of action RPG gotcha, SLA, Wuthering Waves, you all know how this works. Slowing time for a moment and activating a counter attack. Try to charge up your EX special before using them so they get the max output possible for damage. Make sure to watch the moves you should parry. Sometimes the boss chain multiple attacks in one sequence and those are the best ones to parry. Make sure that you use your ultimate skill as soon as it's up. There isn't a specific reason to keep it unused since it does a solid amount of damage. Plus you wanna have that stagger effect and you wanna start rebuilding that, that ultimate right away. Once you do get the enemy staggered, a chain attack will be available. Make sure you use the bang boo before using any other units. The bang boos are available only at the start of the chain so you always wanna have that available to you, okay? Parry charges are limited, so keep an eye at your charge, or you might want to get a heavy blow off, which you can mess up a whole run. To help you better understand the dodge and parry mechanics, again, check out Pride Wind's video here that they have on the guide, which will be in the description of the link. Uh, the link will be in the description below, okay? So that's essentially it for tips and tricks, guys. Uh, there's a lot more things that you guys can learn as the game drops. I will be doing a ton of guides myself. Uh, make sure that you are pre-registered, guys, for those insane amount of rewards we're getting so we're getting a hundred free pulls we're getting uh, polychromes we're getting if you're doing the web event you're going to get yourself some w engines a rank one specifically plus you have uh some some opportunities to get yourself some uh the the, the bupons and as well as remember the game itself is dropping within the next two and a half days so we have a lot to cover when it comes out i will be probably doing two accounts i'll be doing a whale account and a regular account um and i'll be doing as many testing guides as i possibly can to give you guys the most amount of information as possible through tests through numbers and give you guys some free to play tips as well too because i will definitely be running a free to play account on top of my pay to win account to make sure that you guys have everything you need the moment it happens okay so remember bang boos are going to be something that you're going to want to collect so make sure you are doing the web, web event guys you guys can check out this video from ign to see some more combat uh at the same time remember pride win is going to be your number one stop here for any text related stuff plus they have some of the best information out there from some of the best content creators and players putting work into making sure you guys have all the information you need as you guys can see here the game looks incredibly gorgeous combat looks seamless um, i'm super super excited for this i can't wait to play this game so if you are planning to join make sure you do jump onto my discord we have a zzz channel already set up for you guys so you guys can get together talk chat uh, i'll be doing a lot of news news uh, guides as well too as well as just keeping you guys updated on everything that's going on plus if anything comes out like a brand new code or anything like that i will be on top of it remember there is a new code that is already out for us as soon as we log in we have until july 12th to activate it that code is zzz free 100 again i'll put that into the description of the video you guys can check that out plus the link to pride win and the link to IGN's gameplay video. Again guys, this is Payne. Thank you so much for watching. We'll talk about rerolling in another video. I think that's an important one, but again, we'll see what they do when global drops. This is Payne. Again, I'll see you guys in the next video and hopefully in this game watching my content. See you later guys.